Did you know that drinking bottled water, reverse osmosis water, and even tap water can breed fungus and cancer? Watch till the end to discover how you can supercharge your own tap water and make it healthy, dynamic, and safe again. A new government study estimates nearly half of the tap water in the U.S. is contaminated with forever chemicals. Decades now they've been looking at this and they have found that it can be associated with certain types of cancer, with thyroid diseases, and most recently even at lower concentrations they can be problematic. They accumulate in soil, rivers, drinking water, and in the bloodstream of people who are exposed to them. And now PFAS chemicals are associated with a range of health problems, hormone and immune disorders, thyroid malfunctions, uh, but as well uh, high cholesterol and diabetes, uh, kidney problems. Friends, if you are watching this video then congratulations. You are on the path to restoring your home and your body using by fixing the underlying key to all life and the ingredient that makes up 70% of your entire body, water. Water is at the heart of virtually all living organisms on planet Earth. Yet sadly we have done our best to pollute and destroy this most precious of our natural resources. We have polluted our oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, and streams using a combination of chemical runoff, human and animal wastes, forever chemicals like PFAS, and even intentional poisoning with chlorine, chloramines, trihalomethanes, and fluoride. In school we were taught that water is a simple molecule H2O. While this is technically true, water is so much more. It is the basis of all life, but it is also a liquid crystal. This means that it is a cage-like molecule capable of storing frequencies and information just like a computer memory chip. This was proven many years ago by Professor Bill Tiller, the former Dean of Material Sciences at Stanford University. Modern water treatment systems use simple filtering and chlorination or in some cases high-pressure super filtering using reverse osmosis to sift out the physical contaminants and or to oxidize the contaminants. The end result is pure treated water. But is it really, really pure? The truth couldn't be more different, and the results more dangerous to both human and to plant life. Let's break down the two major treatment modalities for municipal water and then we can discuss the basic filtering systems that are being sold. Finally we will venture in the new sciences and look at the energetic component of water or the memory that is imprinted into water that simple filtering can never erase. In the United States of America most municipal water treatment facilities use chlorine to treat the contaminated water that comes in from toilets to storm drains. Most of us never think about it, but the water that comes into our home usually comes from a waste water treatment plant like this one. The water goes down the drains and the solids, think manure are allowed to settle out. The water is put through a series of processes to clean and sterilize it so that when it gets pumped back up into the water tower it is potable germ-free and safe for drinking. The image you see is a toilet paper and wet wipe sifting machine. The machine sifts out and removes undigested solids from paper towels to wet wipes to even toilet paper. Disgusting. Absolutely, but still this happens in major municipalities around the world. Then the water is treated with chlorine to oxidize the contaminants and to kill the germs. After going through a series of tanks, biological digesters, and aerators, the water is then able to be reintroduced to rivers, lakes, or in some cases right back to the tower to start its journey all over again. When chlorine mixes with even the most, minute amounts of organic compounds, compounds that are almost always found in water and that we often introduce into the water supplies every day, think manure and urine, produce harmful byproducts called trihalomethanes chloramines, and other toxic byproducts. As a group scientists call these compounds disinfection byproducts or DBPs. In fact these compounds have been proven to be carcinogenic, that means cancer-causing. According to a report from the U.S. Council of Environmental Quality, 
the cancer risks for people who drink or swim in chlorinated water is up to 93% higher than for those whose water does not contain chlorine. When the world first began to introduce chlorine to swimming pools and the water supply, it drastically reduced the spread of waterborne diseases and illnesses. It helped keep cities and towns' residents safe. Now, however, we know that this new method of killing germs in water came with a price. According to the US EPA, the average American now consumes more than 300 to 600 X times the amount of chlorine that is safe to ingest. And if you are a chlorinated swimming pool owner, that number can be even higher. As scientists began to research the side effects of chlorine in drinking water, they found that it isn't just cancer's risks that increase, but reproductive problems, immune system issues, and even heart attacks. In a small rural town called Rosado, Pennsylvania, after changing from drinking mountain water to drinking chlorinated tap water, the population went from having no heart attacks to having heart attacks with no other meaningful changes in their diets. Some other recent studies have found, the byproducts of chlorine can increase risk of rectal and bladder cancer and gastrointestinal cancer risks can increase 50 to 100% over the lifetime of a person. There are many more scary studies than the ones highlighted above, but our purpose is not to terrify but to highlight some of the hidden dangers of drinking unfiltered tap water. What are forever chemicals and why are they called forever? Let's repeat again. PFAS compounds are called forever chemicals because they won't break down in the environment or in our bodies. They stay in the environment for decades without breaking down or disappearing. These chemicals are shown to build up in people's bodies over time and have been linked to a wide range of health problems, including cancer, thyroid disease, and even reproductive issues. What is Gen X? Gen X is a man-made chemical that DuPont Nemours created to replace highly toxic compounds such as PFOS and PFOA. It is the ammonium salt of hexafluoropropylene oxide dimer acid, HFPODA. This compound is one in a family of chemicals known as PFICAs. Although Gen X was initially claimed to be safe, new evidence suggests that this compound is extremely toxic to human health. The Safe Drinking Water Act is a law that requires the Environmental Protection Agency (EPA) to establish drinking water quality standards for public water systems. Approximately 90% of Americans get their water from these public water systems. The remaining 10% of Americans have private drinking water wells that aren't regulated by the EPA. The EPA is required to establish maximum contaminant levels MCLs, for pollutants in public drinking water supplies. MCLs are the highest concentration of a contaminant allowed in drinking water. Currently, there is no MCL for any PFAS compound. This means the municipalities are legally allowed to return water back to the water supply that is contaminated with them. This means that the chance that your water is contaminated is very high. Now, let's talk about whole house water filtration. It usually takes one of three basic forms. Pleated paper or synthetic fabric filters with either granular or solid block carbon or reverse osmosis. In the case of hard water with either iron or manganese or other hard water minerals use either salt ion exchange water softeners before the filters or they use reverse osmosis systems to remove all of the minerals. A scary secret truth lurks in all of these systems, they are all breeding grounds for viruses and bacteria, and it can grow right in the filter itself. Traditional cartridge water filters are typically either paper or synthetic fabric pleated filters used to remove the solid large particles followed by granular charcoal or solid block carbon filters. A large whole house system that uses paper filters can cost in the hundreds of dollars typical $300 to $700 but do very little to remove anything but very large solids. Forever chemicals stay, as does some chlorine and DDPs. 
In addition these filters do almost nothing to remove the bacteria, protozoa, flukes, viruses, or other types of pathogens. They also fail to remove fluorides, nitrates, sodium, manganese, iron, and other hard water minerals. Not only that but unless the filter says it is silver impregnated or copper impregnated, more likely than not the filters themselves are bacteria colonies. Solid double block carbon filters work much better, they can remove the chlorine and the DBPs but typically cost between $3,500 to $6,500, like ultra pure filters and replacing an individual carbon block costs around $1,500 to $2,000 so they are very costly to replace. Sometimes replacing the double block carbon filters costs nearly as much as the original installation and usually requires a professional technician just to change them out. Unfortunately carbon filters do not remove bacteria, viruses, iron, manganese, fluorides, and other inorganic chemicals. University of Kentucky IP6 Worse solid block carbon filters can become bacteria breeding colony farms, spreading germs into the water line. Even if paired with UV or ozone the dead bacteria remains in the water and can become food for even more bacteria. Reverse osmosis ion exchange resin water filter systems for the whole house are the newest latest rage for about the last 15 years. Reverse osmosis filters typically use a pump to generate high pressure and force water through incredibly small microscopic pores around 0.0001 microns, effectively removing contaminants and allowing the water that has been stripped of its natural mineral elements to the flow though. These filters do remove nearly all of the hard water minerals like iron and manganese, they will also remove fluoride sodium calcium magnesium potassium, bicarbonates, and nearly all other important minerals, including the good minerals necessary for life. Reverse osmosis filters do not remove chlorine byproducts like chloramines or trihalomethanes, nor dissolved gases like carbon dioxide, methane and radon. Reverse osmosis is also a terrible waster of precious water supplies, in fact it wastes more water than it produces typically between 3x to up to 20x more than the clean water that they produce, and this wastewater has a more concentrated amount of the contaminants than the source water as the contaminants that are removed go into the wastewater stream. Besides, removing the minerals in the water, it effectively lowers the pH making the water more acidic and less helpful to life. They are often paired with solid block carbon filters, and like the solid block carbon systems require costly maintenance, and are very expensive to service and replace. Neither of these systems deal with the information pollution in the water. Because, no filter system alone will remove the memory of the removed toxins pharmaceuticals or other contaminants unless they also have a vortexing or structuring component. In addition, water without minerals is dead and not conducive to life or living organisms. According to Victor Schauberger, the father of both biomimicry and water structuring technologies, this water like distilled water is immature water and is greedy or hungry for information. It turns to its environment to gobble up information and will leach minerals from the soil or the bodies of the organisms it contacts. Reverse osmosis water is so greedy that it can even be corrosive for plumbing systems stripping lead and copper out of the pipes while adding these toxic metals to the water before emerging from the tap. Drinking this water has been associated with increasing the risk of kidney disorders and gastrointestinal problems. Another study conducted at SSG Hospital found that RO water is an emerging risk factor for vitamin B12, due to the RO system removing essential amounts of the trace element cobalt. In the 1980s reverse osmosis system were installed in greenhouses and in agriculture and to irrigate farms, orchards. After testing and installation three basic principles were discovered, one, in order to be healthy, soil, absolutely requires water rich in minerals two, the water itself must contain a bioenergetic structure or biofield which can be photographed and measured, three, in order for soil to be healthy a wide variety of bacteria and other types of organisms must be present in order to fix the nutrition and minerals at the roots hairs that allow plants to flourish. Many years ago a greenhouse owner hired a consultant to figure out what was causing a massive problem with their crops. They had installed a brand new, large-scale reverse osmosis filter system in their greenhouse and had started using its water to irrigate the seedlings which resulted in a total disaster, 
after they began watering with the reverse osmosis water their crops were being destroyed by a black fungus. In all the years they had been in the greenhouse business, they had never experienced anything like this. The consultant decided to run some experiments comparing normal tap water, reverse osmosis water, and structured biofield imprinted filtered water. In each and every test, the plants watered with reverse osmosis water were stunted and slowed to develop or died from fungus infection. Imagine its effect on your own gut flora or biome or worse its effect on your spouse and children. The plants watered with regular tap water had no fungus issues, but grew slowly and weren't very special. The plants watered with filtered structured water, filters that removed the toxins but allowed the healthy minerals in the water to remain, did much better than the plants watered with tap water, grew more rapidly, and were nearly all ideal specimens for the species. In fact many tests done with filtered structured water show that consistent 25% yield increases on the crops. The greenhouse removed the expensive but mineral stripping reverse osmosis filter system and replaced it with healthy filtration with structuring and biofield imprinting and had no more problems. Over the years similar issues have been observed in people who had installed reverse osmosis water systems. Many people with RO system began to report ill health, which often resulted in candida, yeast, infections, a multiplicity of digestive, stomach, disorders, or even cancer. In many cases, infants were stunted and slow to develop was discovered that they had been drinking reverse osmosis water from a home filter or were consuming bottled water that had been purified using reverse osmosis. After review of the data, it was theorized that reverse osmosis water didn't just promote fungus overgrowth in plants, but also people plants and pets. Why a cancer connection? Well, a fungus overgrowth in the body triggers releases toxins into the circulatory lymphatic system and tissues. Recent research conducted by the Weizmann Institute of Science and the University of California, San Diego has revealed that cancerous tumors tend to be loaded with fungus. Naturopaths, homeopaths, and other natural health practitioners have long contended that acidic conditions in the body results in ill health. Reverse osmosis water is acidic instead of being neutral to slightly alkaline the way healthy natural water should be. Drinking RO water is the equivalent of drinking literal acid. Studies suggest that drinking reverse osmosis water results in a loss of minerals from tissues and bones. Until recently the connection with fungus and cancer was relatively unknown, but Dr. Simoncini of Italy and other researchers have now proven this to be true. Water from a bubbling mountain spring contains both minerals and a natural structure. It's neutral to slightly alkaline in nearly all cases. Our family safe ultra pure, biodynamic, filtering, softening and structuring systems are designed to remove toxins like chlorine, arsenic, fluoride, pesticides and more, while retaining the healthful minerals. Now finally available. You too can enjoy quality mountain spring grade water at home for pennies per gallon. Hydrate your body, heal your gut, drink and shower in pure crystal clear structured biocharged water, right from your tap. We at the home of the Bioblaster and Oxygreen Solutions, we have long been interested in clean healthy air as well as water. We are literally made of water. Our bodies are comprised of over 70% water. Our product developer began working on water over 25 years ago, after being introduced to Victor Schauberger, the father of water structuring and biochemistry. He has issued USA and world patents for water-based nanotechnology and has built and tested dozens of water filtering and structuring devices. He has split water into hydrogen and oxygen and even burned water. For the last several years we have been planning to introduce a new water treatment softening filtration and structuring technology. While we had the desire it took several years to improve it, but perfect it we have. The first step eliminates the need for those bulky salt ion exchange water softeners. Over the years in the mold remediation business our crews have hauled out hundreds of these finicky broken units. They are costly and need continuous maintenance. Have you ever seen one of these sitting broken in a friend's basement or garage? Look at the wet spot on the floor, 
These salt bags are heavy. Really heavy. They are not fun and while they can be effective, they are almost always a pain to own and to keep full of salt and functioning properly, and did we mention expensive? These units are typically $1,500 to $4,000. We found a way to eliminate these big bulky units and to soften even the hardest water using magnets, vortexing, and catalyst metals. This vortexing action begins the process of structuring the water and erasing its memory, while it is spinning through the softening scale buildup preventing device it passes through a series of stationary spinning disks that are made of a special catalyst. This turbo vortexing action works like a battery generating a very small electrical current as water passes through it. This electrical current has the effect of neutralizing the particles of calcium carbonate in water that would otherwise cause scale buildup. The particles then stay suspended in the water and instead of sticking to the pipes and hot water heaters or heating elements they pass harmlessly through where they can be useful to the bodies of the people who drink the water. We use IPSE polarization energy inhibiting and descaling material, world-leading technology. This material originated in the U.S. military and was granted an early patent in 1960. It is mainly used for anti-fouling of nuclear submarine power piping, steam and water piping, systems are full life and fully sealed. IPSE anti-scaling and descaling material is a purely physical type of anti-scaling and descaling material, which combines various functions such as scale prevention, descaling, rust prevention, anti-corrosion, maintenance-free and long-term protection, etc. It effectively retains healthy and beneficial minerals in the water, effectively preventing solid deposits and corrosion of household water equipment while also solving the hazards caused by household water scale. PSE alloy material is made of eight different metal elements such as copper, zinc and nickel melted at high temperature. When water flows into the IPSE element, the chip material releases extremely strong free electrons, which polarize the water molecules and reduce the concentration of calcium and magnesium ions in the water, making it impossible for the scale to crystallize, thus preventing the formation of scale. When a certain water flow rate the IPSE chip, the chip material will release extremely strong free electrons, which will cause the polarization of water molecules and reduce the concentration of calcium and magnesium ions in the water, making it impossible for the scale to crystallize, thus preventing the formation of scale. Transform the calcite structure of existing scale salt to aragonite structure, so that the hardened scale layer will gradually soften and fall off to achieve the effect of scale removal. Practical Proof after use, the existing scale salt undergoes a transformation from a calcite structure to an aragonite structure, causing the slab scale layer to gradually soften and fall off. Next we get to the main body of our very special filtration system, a specially developed nanotechnology membrane that removes iron, manganese, and other toxic minerals while leaving the bicarbonates, calcium, cobalt, and other healthy minerals. These special filters are made right here in the USA and are were developed by a friend for the medical industry where clean water for irrigation during surgery is a must and is treated to be bacteria-free. Our family-safe ultra-pure, biodynamic, filtering, structuring and softening whole house system where FSF uses a unique proprietary media that has been specifically modified with our proprietary food-grade additives to increase performance exceeding even ultra-filtration membranes. Our system removes 99.9 IN period percent of all bacteria and 99.9 I period percent of all viruses. It doesn't just kill them, it removes them. This means that the dead bacteria cannot become food for new bacteria. What is the difference between 99.9% and 99.99% and 99.9 IN period percent? If your water has 100 million bacteria in a drop, a 99.9% reduction leaves 10 million bacteria, a 99.99% removal leaves 1 million bacteria, a 99.999% removal leaves 100,000 bacteria, etc. 
Logarithmic scale matters as you can see each decimal point is a 10x decrease so do you only want a 99.9% .9 removal or do you want it all gone? Another reason that this is critical is to keep biofilm from building up in plumbing lines, which is a type of bacterial concrete-like substance. It stops it because there is no longer enough remaining bacterial cells present to provide food for growth. Another unique feature of our amazing filtration technology is it works with extremely low pressure of less than 3 psi. This means that it works in almost all flow pressures, without the need for costly pumps or boosters. Our proprietary microguard technology allows us to remove virtually all bacteria, all viruses, and all heavy metals and forever chemicals in just three filters. It does all of this while still leaving the important minerals that are essential and even vital to health in our bodies. FSF UltraPure test results for non-biologicals test results from independent testing TONSF42 and NSF53 standards. Chemical removal testing results for FSF UltraPure filtration element. These test results were achieved during testing to US NSF slash ANSI standards conducted by an independent laboratory in the United States which is accredited in accordance with National Environmental Laboratory Accreditation Conference, NELAC, standards and which is registered with the US Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. The above list of toxins removed demonstrates why our water filtering and structuring systems are superior to others. In addition, to removing these forever chemicals our system removes the iron and manganese that make water hard all without the bulky finicky always needs serviced salt ion exchange softeners on the market. If this were all our amazing system were to do it would be amazing and one of the best systems on the market. Did you know that traditional water filter systems utterly fail when it comes to erasing the information contained in these chemicals as well as all of the pharmaceutical drugs flushed down the toilets around the world? That's right, traditional filtration and reverse osmosis fail to erase the memory in the water. And, since Dr. Tiller of Stanford University has proven that water is akin to a liquid crystal and is a cage-like molecule capable of storing frequencies and information erasing its memory and charging it with positive information is a mission-critical step in our quest for turning the disgusting tap water flowing into your home into delicious, nutritious life-giving life-enhancing water. Water memory is the ability of water to retain a memory of substances previously dissolved in it, even after an arbitrary number of serial dilutions, it is the basis of, and the mechanism behind homeopathy, and the reason why homeopathic remedies work. In 1988 Professor Jacques Benvenisti and colleagues published a study supporting a water memory effect amid controversy in the prestigious journal Nature. This paper was widely disputed, until Professor Boris Koch of the Institute for Polar Research with a team of other scientists also proved that water at the molecular level keeps a memory of all organic life forms that have existed in it. The tool that Professor Koch used to discover this was a powerful mass spectrometer, which can accurately decipher the structure of each molecule. They discovered that water stored the information of organic molecules, they also found that the water contained supermolecules comprised of clear geometric shapes, the platonic solids, just like crystals which are stable and don't even break down when water reaches its boiling point. What is structured water? This is a complex topic with many competing theories, but all agree on one main point the water in our cells is structured water. Structured water can be said to be a molecular arrangement of water molecules that exist when water is near hydrophilic surfaces. Much like ice, or graphene, structured water molecules can be joined together in hexagonally structured single-layer sheets. Unlike ice the sheets are flexible and can move around independently, as they are not bound together by protons. The majority of the water in our body is structured as your body tissues are hydrophilic. In fact, best-selling author and world-renowned physician Dr. Thomas Cowan has stated, health is the state of perfect intracellular gels. Dr. Cowan has unveiled the unique relationship that exists between structured water and blood flow, cancerous tumors, and epigenetics. 
Our unique water softening filtering and structuring system will let you experience the significant relationship that Dr. Cowan has discovered is the key to health. Our technology goes well beyond traditional simple hydration. Dr. Cowan has discovered that water, and its unique structure, is pivotal to life itself. How is structured water made? It's simple vortexing. Over 100 years ago the brilliant Austrian scientist Victor Schauberger discovered that water's memory can be erased and the water imparted with unique life-giving characteristics via water structuring. Victor turned the world of modern hydrology on its head by defying accepted and established scientific norms with his unique discoveries. In fact he is credited as the father of today's field of science called biomimicry, his motto was study nature, understand it then copy it. It wasn't until the 21st century however that a professor named Dr. Gerald Pollack from the University of Washington, made a remarkable discovery proving that structured water exists and a way to make it that has led to other scientists all over the world replicating his research and publishing in peer-reviewed journals. Yet even after this chemists, biologists, physicists, engineers, and medical doctors graduating today have by and large never heard of it unless they have attended his lectures, visited his annual international water conference or read his acclaimed book The Fourth Phase of Water. Since our bodies are filled with structured water why do we need more? Structured water in our boats is like a battery that needs continuous charging. Drinking energized structured water recharges the liquid battery of the body. When the aqueous interior of the body is charged up, it lets us operate with optimal cell function and metabolism as well as better hydration and detoxification. Since many diseases are rooted in hypoxia, lack of oxygen, and toxification, buildup of cellular poisons, dehydration, and loss of cell function, Drinking structured water might help in a number of ways including blood flow and lymphatic circulation. Beware not all structuring devices are created equal, simple vortexing isn't enough. That's right recently vortexed water is hungry for energy and information. That's why our structuring system imprints the water with energy called the biofield. Our unique methodology of biofield imprinting creates an enhancement to the water that charges it up with life energies. We have done tests, and you can too, showing that our unique structuring devices can speed up the germination rates of plant seedlings and also increase the yield of the fruits and vegetables watered during their growth with the structured biofield charged and imprinted water. We have seen cows give up to 25% more milk drinking this water. We have had positive impacts on poultry swine and people. There are eight important principles you need to have in a device structuring to properly structure your family's water. 1. Employ proper vortexing using a double helix vortex. 2. Directly transfer etheric energy via direct contact. 3. Employ the same phi ratio geometry used by Leonardo da Vinci and the builders of the pyramids in Egypt. 4. Use non-leaching metals, no brass or copper. 5. Use healing orgone energies. 6. Employ the frequencies of natural minerals and life-giving paramagnetics. 7. Use resonant crystals. 8. Imprint the biofield using the frequencies of life-giving plants and herbs. Employing some of the same strategies used by nature in a mountain stream, we create energetically enhanced and molecularly ordered water. These natural energies and structure in the water can both enhance and help to restore natural biological functions in living organisms. Long thought to be esoteric and mysterious, recent scientific breakthroughs and discoveries listed above both confirm and lend understanding to the importance of not just filtering out all of the nasty toxins and contaminants found in modern water sources but the absolute necessity to erase the memory and to recharge the water itself. This is having a tremendous impact on consumers, agriculture, industry, and is providing many new research opportunities at universities. Structured water is natural water, the same as untainted water found high in the mountains or deep springs in areas of unspoiled nature. 
We mimic the natural cleansing and water charging processes that nature uses in the hydrologic cycle found in pristine untrammeled mountains and wilderness areas. Our units are designed for simple easy installation by a local plumber or home handyman. All filters are NSF rated. All of our housings are 304 or higher rated stainless steel drinking water grade. Our filter cartridge and media are made in the USA. Our structuring device requires no maintenance. Our unit are available with 1 inch or 3 quarters fittings. FSF is the only complete system with no controller that combines. Mechanical filtration. Membrane filtration. Sorbent filtration. Carbon filtration. Water conditioning. UV simulation. Water descaling and softening. Water structuring. Stop showering and drinking poison water today. Stop drinking out of toxic plastic water bottles. Buy our whole house ultra safe water softening filtering and structuring system today and get the pure vibrant water you crave and your body needs. Order one for your home today.